losing her memories was the least of her problems. Netflix's original film, Secret Obsession, movie review. Hey Twisted People, it's your Twisted Girl here, and today I am doing a movie review of the Netflix original film, Secret Obsession. When Jennifer wakes up with amnesia after a traumatic attack, her loving husband cares for her, but she soon realizes the danger is far from over. Secret Obsession is a quick-paced and nail-biting thriller that, although predictable, actually takes the viewers on an exciting ride with a really satisfying payoff. <laughs> Old School Lifetime Movie of the Week vibes. Okay, now hear me out. That is actually a pro. And for those of you who are old enough to remember Lifetime movies back before everyone had a subscription to a streaming service or whatnot, that when you watch Lifetime movies, it was like The Girl Who Cried Twice, Stranger in the Room, things like that. They were guilty pleasures, right? Not even just Lifetime movies. There were also like movie of the weeks on network TV. And they would be kind of the same vibe for those who didn't have, like, basic cable. You had, like, NBC or whatever doing movie of the week. And it would be, like, the girl who cried and lost her footing. You know, just titles, crazy titles like that. That were kind of basic but kind of gave away that it was, like, a thriller sort of maybe horror vibe to it. Not so much gore but more on the thriller side. And I, for one... You might not want to admit it, but I, for one, loved those movies. I totally, utterly enjoyed them. So much so, I was super happy when, back in the day, Stephen King's It was made a TV movie. Now, mind you, I wasn't old enough to, like, watch it and appreciate it back then. But when I got older and then they would show reruns on it on Lifetime, I think. <laughs> like, late night Lifetime. Like, one in the morning Lifetime. Uh... I really enjoy movies, you know, TV movies like that because they do, they're, they they push the envelope just enough for like network TV and here you have it now on a Netflix platform where they can do a little bit more but they still stay with the sort of, I wouldn't even call it cheesy, but the sort of like it's thriller but it's also kind of soapy but it's still a thriller and it still kind of, you know, talks about the dark parts of humanity, the dark parts of human behavior in a way, right? And so this movie totally embodies that and I, for one, am super happy for that. I know some people make, you know, jokes or try to throw shade like, oh my gosh, why is Netflix doing like a TV movie of the week kind of movie? But it's like, well, you know, Netflix is a TV streaming service. Interesting characters. This was a nice surprise that there weren't a lot of characters in this film, but I will say that the characters that were there, they could have been cookie cutter, cut out like stereotypes or tropes that you have in these kind of movies, right? And it could have totally just played into that hardcore. But funny enough, the characters didn't. You know, they had, I mean, they didn't spend a lot of time, because the movie's only like an hour and 37 minutes, but they didn't spend a lot of time like telling you their backstory where it seemed like, wow, we're stopping the movie to tell the backstory of the cop or something like that. They did it in very subtle ways with like one or two scenes where you kind of got the vibe of the characters enough where you're like, wow, that's a that's an interesting backstory to give this character. And that was very cool the way you like intertwined it with the actual plot line so we didn't miss a beat. Because like I said, which I'll get to in a second, the pacing of this film was quality. So they made it so the characters were, I'm not even going to say relatable, I would just say they weren't obnoxious, you know, because sometimes in these thriller type movies, in order to keep the thrills going, the characters have to be kind of stupid, right? They make stupid decisions and things like that. And sometimes you're just watching it like I totally wouldn't have done that. But then again, maybe the movie would have been over in 10 minutes because I was in the film because we like to believe we're smarter than the characters, right? Sometimes that's not even the case. But we like to believe we'd make totally different decisions. But the characters were actually making smart decisions. But situations would occur that would just be like, well, I could believe that that would happen to keep this storyline going. So I appreciated that. And I appreciated that the main characters that I had to spend an hour and a half with, at least the protagonists, were enjoyable and not obnoxious. Pacing and plot line. The pacing of this movie with the plot line worked very well. It's an hour and 37 minutes and it doesn't overstay its welcome. 
a plot line like this, if you've seen the trailer, you probably know exactly what the movie's about. If you haven't, I won't spoil it, of course. But with the plot line that it had, anything longer than like an hour and a half with that kind of plot line would have been like, there's no way this should be a two hour movie, right? So they did it just right with the pacing of it, that it worked that the stakes were kept high, that the things that happened were kept you know, high stakes and intense enough where it was like, yes, I could believe that this plot line would still be going and that these things would still be happening and that the movie wouldn't have ended 10 minutes into this because, oh my gosh, this shouldn't this have already been figured out. Like, no, they did it in a believable way with the pacing and the characters. All of it culminated in being a, I'm not gonna say believable, but I'm gonna say that a justified plot line with the way things played out. <laughs> predictable. Now, there might have been a few plot twists and stuff, you know, thrown in here and there, but it plays out pretty much the way you figured it would. But this is the thing. And I know this is under con because I say it's a con because some people don't like predictable plots. But I will also counter this con by saying most stories have already been told, right? There's no movie that is telling you a new story you haven't heard before. It's just the way it tells it. And the stronger counterpoint of this movie is that Yes, you probably know what's going to happen, but the way they film it, the way the script goes, and the way the characters interact, you're not thinking, what's the point? You actually are fine with going on the journey with the characters and the protagonists and the high stakes of what is happening, right? And you want to see how it ends and what the payoff is. So yes, it is a very very, oh my gosh, very predictable storyline. Because like I said, if you've ever seen a Lifetime movie of the week or a regular network TV movie of the week, they pretty much play it out just like that. But they do it in a way that is actually engrossing. So yes, this is a con in the sense if you are someone who doesn't like predictable plot lines, but I will say that it's, a, it's an enjoyable ride in the predictability of this film. <laughs> domestic abuse there's some like it's not as intense but it definitely or abuse more so I don't even know if you can count with this kind of plot line call it domestic given the circumstances and you'll get what I'm saying once you watch the film but yes mental gaslighting abuse goes on here child death there's references to that in the film <laughs> So is Secret Obsession Netflix's original film Twisted Approve? Yes. This film is Twisted Approve. I think it's like a guilty pleasure, but actually like borderline not doesn't have to be considered a guilty pleasure. Like you shouldn't feel guilty in enjoying this film. I enjoyed it. I don't feel guilty about that. I I cast off my guilt. I <laughs> I enjoyed the film. It was nail biting thriller quick paced you'll probably forget it in a couple of weeks after you watch it but hey in that moment you will enjoy seeing how things play out okay y'all so that is my review of netflix's original film secret obsession i think you'll enjoy this if you like thrillers with some killings on the side and i enjoyed it so let me know if you enjoy it if you're looking forward to watching it let me know and if you have watched it let me know your thoughts did you like my pros did you like my cons do you agree disagree let me know comment down below also let me know some of your favorite old school tv movies of the week that were like murder mysteries and stuff like that i'd love to hear it let's reminisce about the good old days together comment down below and also be sure to subscribe so that you're the first to know when I post my videos. Thanks for watching.